What's the latest with the vaccine? Yes, yeah, certainly. So we've managed to accelerate um, the timelines considerably, Tan. So we're now looking at getting into the clinic um, next month in April. We don't have an exact date yet, as you can imagine. There's still a lot of organisation, a lot of moving parts at the moment. But when you think that we only started um, designing this vaccine on the 10th of January, it's pretty remarkable that we are aiming to be in the clinic by, the, the, um, by next month. And another goal that we've set ourselves is that by the end of the year, we hope to have a million doses um, ready for, for distribution, which is really quite a remarkable scale up from kind of a small scale trial like we're doing at the moment. There's still a lot more testing to go. Yep. Why have a million doses ready for distribution by the end of the year? What's the point? I think it's just really good to have a figure to target. We thought that on the scale up basis, targeting a million doses, it's still a, a, a significant number, a number that could be used to really protect people, healthcare workers, frontline uh, medical professionals that are going to potentially really need this vaccine and also potentially people who have underlying health issues as well, which is obviously a tier one group that needs to be protected. Is the expectation that you would have completed all three trials by that time? No, no, absolutely not. So, um, so as I mentioned, we'll be starting our phase one testing in April. Um, we would hope to get what we call an interim readout, which means, you know, you would start to get to see um, you wouldn't get the whole through trial, but you'll get to get some of the data out of that certainly by late summer, autumn, fall type time. And then we would be hoping to move into uh, phase two, which is where we can actually ask the question, does the vaccine work to protect people against the virus? And we would hope to do that very, very quickly. But that would have to, of course, have the say-so of the regulatory authorities. And with the tr first phase of the trial starting next month, I believe you've already identified those locations, correct? That's correct, yeah. Um, so we're going to be two sites for our phase one trial um, starting in the US in April. Um, we're looking at one site at the University of Pennsylvania and one site in Kansas City. Based on what you know about how this virus works and how viruses like it work, is this the, what we should be doing or should we be doing more? Should we be doing less? To be completely honest, we don't really have a choice. If we don't do what we're doing right now, the situation will get a lot worse a lot more quickly. So I, I'm very supportive of all the measures that have been put in place, both at the sort of local and national level. It seems like the testing now is starting to come through. We're getting higher numbers of testing and that's absolutely critical. So, so that's, some, that's a positive, definitely. And I'm sure over the days and weeks, that's going to improve more and more. You know, in late December, when I first heard about this virus, if anybody had asked me, would we be essentially shutting down all, all spheres of public interaction in San Diego in a couple of months time, I think I wouldn't have believed that would have been possible. And yet here we are today, and it's a reality, and it's a reality that my children are at home and you know, predicting not to be at school for another month. And it, 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 it's almost hard for me to get my head wrapped around that. And, and I kind of am living and breathing this every day. So I can't imagine what it's like for everybody else. Well, thank you so much.